All right, taking Vegas and beyond. So, the day that I made the, uh, I think it was like a three or four minute sourcing video. Um, the reason I stopped filming that video was because I got into this altercation. I had this run in with this crazy person at the thrift store. Um, so what happened was I found this shoe and I looked it up and I only found one of them and I looked up the, the style number, what the code thing on the inside of the shoe. And it turned out that those were some insanely expensive shoes. So I stopped filming before the altercation because I was distracted by trying to find the other shoe. And I was walking all over Goodwill looking for this damn shoe. And eventually I made my way to the back row of the store where they have like just a bunch of random crap and like, uh, I think like kids clothes and some other stuff back there. Um, I'm, I can't really remember what's back there now because they rearranged the store recently, but there's just a bunch of random crap back there. Anyway, it's back there by where the, the, what are they called? The changing rooms. Which I don't understand why a thrift store needs changing rooms. Who the hell wants to try on clothes at a thrift store? Anyway. <clears throat> I don't get that. But yeah. Anyway. Um, so I get to this back row. And I go to turn the corner. And there's like this tattooed covered ghetto trash girl who looks like she just left like a trailer park strip club or something and I hold up the shoe and I said have you seen the other shoe like this that's exactly how I said it this stupid bitch calls her boyfriend and lies right there on like where I could hear her telling her fucking boyfriend that I was trying to hit on her I literally held the shoe up and said, have you ever, have you seen the other shoe like this? That's all I said. And then I walked away. And before she tried to lie on me, she goes, she, she goes, I'll look for it. And then I walk away. That was it. And then she tries to lie on me because in her little delusional mind, Everybody has to want her, despite the fact that no one actually does. But anyway, so she causes a scene. Like I said, she called her boyfriend, tried to lie on me, trying to manipulate him into starting a fight with me in a fucking thrift store based on a lie that she made up in her fucking little delusional mind. Anyway, so I walk away, like I said, that was literally the only goddamn thing I said to her. So I walked away and then I run into this other guy, he's covered in tattoos all over his head and neck and everything else. And I'd seen him like probably at least a hundred, 200 times before, never actually talked to him though. So he's on like the... I think it was on the aisle with the men's shorts or something, if I remember correctly. Or maybe it was the aisle with the button-up shirts. I'm not sure. But anyway, I stopped and I asked. I held the shoe up and I, to him and I'm like, have you seen the other shoe like this? And I was kind of surprised and even, I would say, shocked because I did not expect him to be as intelligent as he is i miss completely misjudged him and i'll be the first to admit that because and the reason for that is i have a lot of people in my family who 
are covered in tattoos. A lot of them are former gang members and shit like that. And I've been around a lot of other people too who are covered in tattoos. And this guy was the first one I've ever met who was covered in tattoos like that. Who is intelligent. The rest of them, like the ones in my family, former friends I've had, and all the rest of them are complete fucking idiots. <laughs> so... I was completely shocked when he started talking and how articulate he is and everything else. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I, that's not what I want to make the video about, but I just wanted to throw that in there because I was completely surprised and I misjudged him and I shouldn't have been, you know, looking at someone and I... I shouldn't have been judging anyone, but <clears throat> I just wanted to say that. But back to the girl who lied on me. So I wander around the store, look everywhere, can't find the fucking other shoe. And then I'm checking out and the manager of the store even goes and helps me look for the shoe. She can't find it. Eventually, they come to the conclusion that someone took the other shoe. Someone stole it. So, I'm checking out the fucking ghetto trash girl who lied on me. By this time, her and her little pussy-ass boyfriend are walking out the door. She's still running her mouth and still lying and trying to manipulate him into starting a fight with me. Because she's trying to tell him that, basically insinuating that I was hitting on her. Which, I would never hit on anyone who even remotely looked like her, number one. Number two, I do not, nor did I want her. And I would never even think about fucking her. If she was the last girl on earth, the human race would go extinct. Because I would never, ever, fuck her. Not even with someone else's dick. But anyway. So she's trying to manipulate the guy she's with. Who is a fucking obvious pussy. I could tell by looking at him that he's a pussy. And if he would have been dumb enough to try something with me. We were right down the street from the hospital. So it wouldn't. Have, she wouldn't have had far to take him. But he was trying to mean mug me, but it was funny because at the same time he was trying to give me this angry look. It was like he was looking at me, trying to give me a half-assed mean mug, while at the same time, like, the look was saying, please don't hurt me kind of thing. And if he would have been dumb enough to listen to her and try something with me, he would have got his ass handed to him. Literally. Because I'm... <laughs> One thing I don't put up with is people trying to fucking put their hands on me. When you put your hands on me, you end up hurt. That's one thing I do not tolerate. <sighs> I've had... I've had that happen a bunch of times at thrift stores. And that's one thing nobody ever talks about. Is how some people at these fucking thrift stores. Think they're tough. Think they're. I don't know what they. How to describe it. But they act like a bunch of little punk kids. Who want to bully somebody. And I don't put up with that shit. 